And a lot of times, the people being the assholes are the leaders of the group. Like, they right, set the right. tone for the rest of the community. Right. So, usually when you have, from my experience, when you have a toxistic um, RP community, you have to look at the leadership to see what they're doing. Right, to, right. To, to create or to try to mitigate the tone for everyone else. Right. Because, um, like with everything in roleplay, it gets a little uh, tribalistic where, like, if someone gets kicked out of a group, you'll have a few people that will keep interacting with them and, uh, and roleplaying right. with them on the side. But right, right. Uh, by large, most of the time, it like, if someone gets kicked out of a community, they just get shunned by most people. Because most people uh, will just kind of take the stance of, well, they're not in the immediate proximity of availability mm -hmm. so i'm not gonna bother right right it's kind of a, a pragmatic more of a pragmatic thing you know it, it takes for them for me to go interact with them and they're not in good graces with everybody else anyway so i'm not gonna bother you know why why put an effort when it's you know potentially going to piss off other people right oh we can talk about retconning at some point <laughs> Because retconning is a very, very interesting practice that basically just makes everything complicated. Right, right. I mean, like, you know, there's retconning in tabletop, too, but, you know, it's, I guess it's kind of like, you know, the, the, the issue of scale, you know. In tabletop, when you're looking at the other four or five people around the table saying, hey, can we just say that didn't happen? Right, right. Oh, it's more of like, a, like you have a handshake agreement, like, right there. Right, where, right, right. Where RP, there's some people like, oh well, you know, if you didn't do that, then I would have done this. Right. There, there's like fruit of the poisonous tree effects and butterfly effects and. Right. Right. Um. So. I'm, I'm just, I'm still like just. Go, going over this, getting in a fist fight over a tabletop game thing. <laughs> like I'm just like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my brain's just trying to, like, get over it. We were it. a bunch of guys in college, you know, nerds eventually, you know, get pushed to the edge. Nerds like don't said. fight, though. Nerds are afraid to fight. <laughs> I'm I mean, the funny thing, I was like, this guy, like, this, he was not a small guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like, I wasn't, I wasn't tiny myself, and, you know, I, but I was, I was hardly, you know, like a bodybuilder or anything like that. But... Yeah, he, uh, yeah, it, just, it was just one of those things that, at least, that we remained pretty good friends, even for the rest of the university, for the, you know, for the next few years, so. That's good. So, I mean, it, you know, it wasn't, I mean, we didn't hold a grudge about it, but, yeah. So, um, I guess, so, so, did your, did your, did your D DM reprimand you for ruining the table? Well, I'm I like okay. I wasn't very good friends with the DMs afterwards. <laughs> the DM afterwards. I don't I don't remember. I mean, he wasn't like a super great friend. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's a better friend for, for. Um, he's a better friend to the guy that you know I got in the fight with, to be honest. Uh. But yeah, I mean, like he didn't really talk to me. I don't. I, he, he, the the the, uh, the 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 campaign ended after that. So. Right, right. Well, I, I, would, I, I bring that up because that's one of the major differences between role play and tabletop is that tabletop relies on having a GM to basically moderate everything. Right, right. And conduct the campaigns and, you know, fact check the character sheets and... Right. And make sure everything's normalized to, to what... To what they want for the campaign where right. in role play there's there's nobody like telling you what you can and can't do with your character there's no one making sure your care your like quote-unquote character sheet is tidy and and proper right right i mean I, I, you know i from i i there's there's like a kind of community guidelines like community assumptions you know and you know uh 
you know, I assume this is kind of, and, and there's personal preference, you know, somebody, you know, wants to play all an all powerful godlike character and you want to play, you know, uh, something a little more, uh, grounded and realistic, you know, it's probably, well, yeah, I'm not going to play with that person because it's just, you know, it's not, you know, it's not going to be that interesting. You mean you don't want to play with my void scent master? <laughs> That, wait, but you told me about them. That can <laughs> only be damaged by some bullshit. <laughs> right, right. Some obscure lore thing I read once in a on a on a Tumblr, you know, somebody you know spewing their own personal theories. Oh my god, I will t have to tell you that story.